Guess who's back? That's right, boys and girls. It is Regal once again, founder of FakeDatabase.com. Alright, so I had to come in for a little bit because it started drizzling and stuff. The weather over here between yesterday, today, and I believe tomorrow is going to be um, raining a little bit. It's going to be very windy. Like yesterday, it was so windy, I was actually afraid my trees were going to break. And But everything is looking good. I just had to water everything really heavy yesterday and make sure that the buckets stay, you know, hunkered down. And the wind wasn't flipping them over because I actually had four of my figs were actually flipped. Uh, fortunately, none of them broke. So that that's that's a big plus right there now that the water stopped for a little bit i gotta come and pick these figs i got my boy dan texting me on uh, facebook right now so i gotta answer him really quick here is violet de bordeaux taste them and they're a little bit like bitter to me I don't know if that's just me but that's what it tastes like to me a little bit bitter other than that the tree is really nice so let's go inside and taste this little babies all right guys so here it is this is Violet de Bordeaux or Violette de Bordeaux however you want to say it so here is the leaf this is the leaf from the Violet de Bordeaux that I have on the front as you guys can see is their um, spades and they're beautiful I'm actually gonna do an air layer on this one and hopefully I stay with a variety of Violet de Bordeaux that's, that's only gonna hold this type of leaves. As you saw the one that I have on the back, all the leaves are fingered leaves type of leaves and stuff. There's the eye for the other one. This one has some really nice um, dots on it. Looks pretty cool. Anyways, I try to leave them on the tree as much as long as I could simply because i've heard people saying and advising me to leave it on there as long as i can until it starts wrinkling somewhat actually getting a little bit heavy i guess that's because um it's concentrating its sugars or whatnot and as you can see it's a very small fake um like i said it's been getting much better in taste so now let's cut this baby open see they're nice and red look at that nice and red did you guys see that mm. it's not really like juicy but it's definitely sticky like jammy I guess you could say got pretty thick out down the inside there so now we're gonna taste it all right so RJ is going first he's gonna get a little piece of Violet de Bordeaux He's probably gonna say it's sweet. That's about it. It's all I think you kind of say that too. And it's mushy. All right, so which one are oh, you gonna it's get? Mushy. Oh. Hmm, let's see. I'm gonna like this one. How was it, Riggs? It's sweet and jammy. Yeah. What's the definition of jammy to you, sir? When it tastes like jam. It's good. I like it. It's good. Was it sweet? Yeah. It was sweet. Was it juicy or was it thicker this time? It's more like thick, I think. Yeah. To me. It is my turn. I'm gonna get this one right here, the longer one. Mmm. I like it. It's good. Better than that last time. Yeah, this one. This one's actually very good, guys. I was gonna try to guess the flavors on it, but it's, it's, I don't know. I'm just not good at explaining flavors i guess you could say it's just very um it's kind of complex it's berry flavor yeah it's berry berries. flavors oh it does taste like berries mm. 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 that one was even better mm. these little fakes are getting a lot better these are getting better in hardy chicago's Don't you think they're getting better in Hardy Chicago? Oh, uh, I don't know. The Hardy Chicago's, we haven't been picking them that ripe or they did, aren't that good. Yeah. I don't 
Oh, he's doing homework. I don't know, guys. That's a really, really good fig. It's definitely, to me, in my opinion, it's definitely whooped Chiliegia Dose and Hardy Chicago. Both of those are good figs because they're very good productive uh, varieties. But Vita de Bordeaux, the tastes on that fig is getting a lot better. So I'm definitely giving a, a high score on that one this time. So are you going to keep it? I think we are gonna keep it, yeah. Yeah, yeah I wanna keep it too. It is good. So you think it is tasting but better? What if huh? all the figs are tasting better that you that you wanna give away? Well, you know what? I was just talking to a guy I talked to on on Facebook all the time. His name is Dan, uh -huh. and he's been collecting figs for some time, and he knows a lot about figs. And he's actually telling me that even the figo preto me and mommy tasted the other day, uh -huh. that that's gonna be tasting a lot better. That all the figs are actually gonna get better. So. Eric tells so me the how same thing. How are you going to get rid of them if you like all of them? I don't know. I think we're going to be like Eric and have about 600 trees or so. <laughs> <laughs> Put them all in the ground. We got to be strong, girl. Wow. We got to be strong and get rid of the trees. Girl power. What the? So we will leave you with that. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Because it doesn't really matter to us. Thank you very much for watching our video. We love you and we'll see you next I got the biggest beach, oh, I got the biggest beach.